Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm here for Alter New today and going to be creating my own custom chevron background. I'm using the Simple Shapes XL set and this is, uh, there's a another version of this set and this is actually the bigger 6x8 set and all the shapes are much larger so you can have heaps of fun with them. And I've got the parallelogram and there's two images in this set and they're kind of opposite so I've popped both of them on a block and I've set them straight and what I'm doing is creating my own chevron pattern using these. I have a piece of white, white cardstock, it's cut the same width as my card but it is a bit longer because I wasn't sure you know where I was going to need the pattern so I thought it was just easier to have it a little bit longer than I needed and then I could cut it down afterwards and I'm using some of the new Alter New inks. These are amazing. The colours, I'm just using these all the time at the moment because they, they really suit my, um, you know, the colours that I always go to are always the nice bright ones and these, you know, when I when I um, got them, because I thought I've got, got the other sets of blue and I thought, yeah, I've got plenty of blues, but oh man, <laughs> these are gorgeous. They're so bright. And I've chosen... It's basically the two lightest colours in each of the three colour ranges that were released. This is the Sea Breeze, which is the lighter blue, and then the Turquoise. And then the two yellows that I'm using here, this is the Citrus Burst. And then I followed that with the Honey... What was it called again? Honey... Mm -hmm. I'm going to lie to you. No, I didn't. It's Fresh Lemon. <laughs> I was so close. Not. Anyway, the pinks were the pink diamond and my favourite, which is the pink alicious. I like these pinks because they, it's hard to tell on the video, but they don't really have that real purple hue that a lot of the pinks do have. And basically that's my chevron background. I've stamped out uh, one of the fox images. This is the one with the balloons. And... I've used the new permanent black ink from Alter New, which is alcohol marker friendly and I wanted this fox to be um, like a grey fox so mostly when I colour animals and I want them to be grey I will use the warm greys or even sometimes the teas. It just looks like um, a more natural kind of grey. The cool greys to me look a bit cold. <laughs> It doesn't really make sense because they are cool greys. They're meant to be cold. But animals don't usually, they're not usually cold. So I'm just doing some really simple Copic colouring here. And I just grabbed the wrong colour there. I, I did this a couple of times today because um, I'm post night duty and obviously not concentrating so well. I did end up coming in with the W7 and adding just a little bit of depth and I think that made all the difference on this image. See look at this R11 I went wrong I so seriously <laughs> went wrong there I wanted the RV family here so I just went over top that's the good thing about alcohol markers is they are quite forgiving you can alter colors by just coloring over top and it will lift the other color and if you add enough <laughs> eventually you'll cover the whole thing and this seemed to work well I just wanted some really light colors for these balloons and I am actually carrying the image behind the other balloons just to make them look a little bit see-through. I know I'm going to be cutting this off a bit so I wasn't getting too worried here. But basically I'm just following the color pattern that I used on the chevron background that I created and I am doing the tip to tip technique to pick up the darker colors because I did want these balloons to be light I just didn't want to um, take the chance of adding too much color and then having to color the whole thing in quite dark and this set has um, matching dies so I am just going to line this up and run this through my die cutting machine I'll just hold it in place with some low tack tape. I really like this tape. It's a 3M tape and I just get it from the painter's section in the hardware store. And I haven't had any problems with that 
pulling off my cardstock unless it's a watercolor cardstock and I've added heaps of water I am a little bit more careful then so the word birthday comes from one of my favorite and well used um, sentiment sets from Alta New which is called birthday greetings and I have just stamped out the birthday portion of this sentiment and um, I'll cut it down a bit further on once I know where I want to put it I don't know exactly yet I've got the heart from this is from the nesting hearts it's the largest heart and I'm kind of in love with this heart <laughs> It's looking really cool. I've made uh, a couple of cards already using it and I haven't even used it with the matching stamps yet. <laughs> I'm just using it as a die. It's a really great heart shape. All right, I'm just working out where to place the heart. I have cut my chevron panel down to the same size as the card front and adhered the heart directly to the card base and then I did want to pop my fox up just a little bit but I could only really do that on the body portion because I want to I don't want it to um, like hit where I've got the fun foam on the back of the front panel and that's just why I was going to cut those balloons off I want it to look like the fox is floating up behind the recessed heart I like to make life quite difficult here would have been easier had I just popped the heart up you know hello Alright, I use some score tape on the back of my fun foam and I have die cut the word happy from some of the Alta New dark grey cardstock and I have already popped it up on one layer of fun foam but because I've popped my front panel up already I want to have some of this sitting over the recessed heart so I'm actually making a double layer of fun foam behind the pieces of the word happy that are going to go within the heart while that's drying I did stamp out and fussy cut some little clouds from the same hug me stamp set and I just thought it made that look more like the fox was floating up through the recessed heart I mean like that's a really natural thing that's going to happen in the real world <laughs> And then I can just use some matte medium behind my sentiment and just fit that in place. It's almost like a jigsaw puzzle now that I added the other piece behind the, um, like the second layer. So the word birthday, I don't know, I just added some blue alcohol marker. <laughs> I don't know why. This was something different. And when I want to pop up a word like this, um, through a die cut I just hold it over top of where it's going to be and then I know that my little um, foam squares are going to be in exactly the right spot when I lay it back down to adhere it on and that's my finished card for today thanks so much for joining me till next time happy paper crafting bye